Hello, my name is Josh Schleek, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a path. Uh, and there's a, probably a lot of different ways you could go about doing this, but I'm just going to kind of let you in on my standard method of, of how I usually do this. Uh, to start, we're just going to be using a pretty basic string sample from the EXS24 sampler. Here's what it sounds like. Right, nothing special there at all, uh, but we're going to add a couple of plugins to spice it up a little bit. So we'll be starting with an auto filter. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And uh, you'll notice right away that I have every section turned off except for the filter section, just because we don't want any other part of this messing with it. Uh, and really, all we're going to be using is the cutoff knob here. So when I turn this knob here, you'll notice that it affects the brightness of the sound just cuts off some of those high frequencies. So we can leave it somewhere around the 50s and it'll be fine. Next plugin we want is the Silver Verb plugin. So go ahead and turn that on. And uh, first thing we want to do is turn the wetness all the way up, bring the dry down a lot. Uh, really what this is, is the dry is the signal without reverb, wet is the signal with reverb. So we just want it you know, completely drenched in reverb. Uh, next we want to turn the size up, make it nice and big. It's probably good, and then bring the reflectivity up, which just means the reverb is going to last longer. Just want to try and make it sound huge. Um, and then you can turn on modulation. This can color the sound a little bit, but you want to be sure not to use too much. Probably somewhere around 60, and then you want to stay probably below 90. You can mess with the settings, though. Um, really, in all of this, that's that'll be kind of the key, is just messing to find what you like. Um, but with that... You can already hear it's affected the sound a lot. It sounds a lot bigger. Final thing we're going to do here is throw on a little bit of overdrive. Um, and this isn't probably what most people would think to do, but I really like how it colors the sound. Um, so with that, you'll hear it's just a little more in your face than without it. If I turn it off, just feels a little nicer. And uh, final thing you can do is you can also add an auxiliary shimmer channel. And here's what that sounds like. All right, you can hear a lot of nice shimmer on that. And uh, I'll be showing you how to create an auxiliary shimmer channel in the next video. Uh, so if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. See you next time.